Don't want to mislead. This is all you need. Be your everything. Yeah, I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real. More than just a thrill. Not just in it for the thrill. I'm in it for the love. Cause love it needs to touch it. What's up, everybody? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are and what time it is. Hope you're having an amazing day. Let's get into it. What's up? What's going on? Oh, hair's getting a little long. I'm going to have to cut that up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's up, everybody? Let's say hello to everybody who's in here. Lolly's on top. What's up, Lolly? What is your real name, Lolly? I saw that was a question in there. I think we all want to know. Let's see. Did she answer yet? We all want to know Lolly's really near. Is it Lollipop? I feel like it's not. Gertie's in the house. What's up, Gertie? How you doing? Omar, how you doing, dude? Munir is back. Flower, flower. Very nice. Marcella's in the house. What's up, Marcella? How you doing? Uh, Kelvin, how you doing? Ahmed, how you doing? Miriam, Mimi, hi, hi. The Real Canadian's back. Denise is in the house. Tatiana's in the house. Batter's in the house. What's up, guys? Maria's back. Basharat, hello. How you doing? Got to give some love to everybody in the chat before we get started. Uh, who else we got in here? Who else in here? Uh, the real Australians in the house. What's up, Rodrigo? How about your Kennedish? Your Kennedish, that's amazing, I suppose. Uh, who else we got in here? Uh, Maya's back. Happy to be here again with you, Maya. Welcome back. Faraz, what's up? Uh, Faisal, what's up with you, man? Uh, who else we got? Nina, hello, Nina. How you doing? Vlad, my man. What's, in the, what's up with that guy? Uh, Gina's back. Sergey is back. Hello from the Ukraine. The Ukraine or Ukraine. I'm not sure which one. I thought we decided that. Nariana's back. How you doing? Oh, sir. <laughs> nice one, Nariana. Good joke. Uh, Mohammed, yes. How are you? Carlos, I'm new. It's cool, man. That's, that's cool. Wesley, what's up, brother? He's got his shades on looking cool as usual. Awesome. I got my shades on right here, too. But they're a little bit old. I think I found these ones are pretty cheap. I'm going to have to upgrade. So, Without further ado, let's get into the, the magic that we're about to get into. Uh, so, do I have a warm-up question for you? I don't really have one for you today. Um, I think we're just going to jump right in. So, 
Yep, let's go. So here we go. Uh, here's the document. So if you are new to this chat, if it's your first time here, welcome. You're awesome. All the other people in here are already awesome, and now you're awesome. So congratulations. Uh, but what we do is I'm going to give you a document. You can open up that document and you see all the cute little animals. That's you. Cute little animals are coming in to look at the document. And then you'll have access to everything that we learned today. Any new vocab or any new grammar. Google Docs. Very easy. So jump on in, little animals. Happy to meet you. Uh, here we go. So let's jump in. And I'll also throw it into the chat so you guys can do this. Now, uh, number one, basically, hello, only human. What's up? When do we have these lessons? Uh, every, oh man, we got a few lessons now. Let's check it out, shall we? Because I sometimes forget times. What time does Julia come on? So let's go Smart English, which I imagine is how you found this place in the first place. And we got Julia, the lovely Julia. She goes on now. When does she stream? Julia goes on Tuesday. Somebody help me out here. Julia goes on at what time on Tuesdays? I go on at Wednesdays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. Vancouver time. And I know Julia is on Tuesdays, but I forget what time. And I know you guys probably know more than I do. So please help me out with that. What time does she go on? Let's see. Is she up there yet? Mm, there she is. Uh, but we don't have time. So 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Uh, Vancouver time, please. If you can do the Vancouver time, that would be amazing. Julia's 2 p.m. Okay, so Vancouver time. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you get so much awesomeness for one hour every week. We're always here. We got nothing better to do. No, that's just true. Oh, 3 p.m. Oh, sorry. 3 p.m. Vancouver time. Check it out now. Um, as you can see, we are live now. And if you subscribe, if you click the little button for subscribe, you will know they will send you an email, I imagine, whenever I'm on or Julia's on. You will see. So subscribe to the channel. You know. OK, so let's jump back into this. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'm going to give you a sentence, as I normally do. Um, OK, so I'm going to give you a sentence like this. And I would like you guys to agree or disagree. So this is a classic Kent activity, agree or disagree with the following sentence. And of course, we're going to be learning something as soon as we're done. Uh, we're going to be looking at a certain type of grammar today. We're going to be looking at passive sentences, but a few different types of passive as well, because there are a few more. So here we go. Let's jump in, starting with number one. And I'm going to help you out with a little bit of this. So number one, agree or disagree, I am considered by many to be a kind and caring individual. Now, I don't know if I fit that category, but maybe you do. So why don't you tell us? So start with number one. Yeah, it's too big. Get out of here. Uh, I'm considered to be a kind and caring individual. <laughs> I don't know if people would describe me that way, but what about you? Do you agree? And if you agree, please tell us why do you agree. Uh, always explain your answers. Yeah, explain uh, why you agree or disagree as well. Don't know? OK. Well, if you don't know, you don't know. You've got to ask somebody. Explain why you agree. Always explain why. Don't give one word answers. That's for babies. We want full answers, totally explaining yourself. You don't know? No, not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess that's a good question. Maybe we need to think about this. Maybe it's a good thing you came here today to get that sentence because you weren't sure about it. Hmm, because I am. OK, great. Wonderful. I am because I am. Gotcha. Uh, kind and caring. I think in some situations, the kind and caring definitely comes out. On a, maybe on an everyday basis, maybe you need to show a little more. Maybe we all need to show a little more, except Tatiana. She seems to be quite good at it already. Uh, but there we go. And you can see that sentence says, I am considered by many other people. That's the idea that I've switched around. OK, so that's number one. So we all, we're all OK with this? Or do we all need to care a little bit more? Maybe we need to care a little bit more. Yeah, people say I am. Well, that's good, Maya. That's good. That's a good track. That's a, you're on a good track. That's good. OK, so there we go. For the rest of us, I think we need to work a little harder. I am considered by many people to be kind and caring. Ah, don't forget your articles there, better. Uh, kind and caring individual because I rent, I lend, no rent, lend, L-E-N-D, I lend them money. Well, that's nice. 
Money's okay, but I think you have to give other things like your time or your help or your caring or your empathy. That might help. That might help all of us, including me. Maybe we need to be a little bit more empathetic, sympathetic, generous, you know, all those things. And caring. Maybe ask some good questions. Ask people, how are they feeling? How are you doing? Right? See? This is good. This is good. We're all learning today. Yeah, there you go. Anyways. Uh, I don't ask people what they think about me. I just do my thing and they do their things. Well, that's okay, only human. That's not bad. But, but I think sometimes you have to take, you have to go the extra mile. You have to, you know what I mean? You have to do a little extra for people. And then I think that's what, then when you do that, people will say, wow, actually, that guy's a, only human's a really cool, cool dude. Really nice and caring person, right? Uh, to what? To a, to a tit. To a tit. Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. I don't agree. I think people consider you a kind person if you give them what they want. But if you fail to serve them once, you'll be classified as evil. Wow, that's really pessimistic. <laughs> uh, I, I disagree. Uh, I think, I guess it depends on who you hang around with most of the time. Maybe, maybe you need to hang around with some really caring individuals and see what they do and how it's different from what you do. Right? Sometimes you need to meet some really caring people and they can teach you what you don't know. Because maybe you think, oh yeah, you know, people are people. That's true. But maybe there's some really lovely people out there and you just don't understand how they think about the world. That could be a good thing. Uh, Wesley, I agree because I'm always trying to pay attention to what people have to say. That sounds like a good start, Wesley. Really listen, don't just yeah, 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 but actually listen to what they're saying. I agree, I do good things to them, or for them, not to them, but for them, Calvin. Uh, okay, so there we go. I'd, I'd rather not, not be coarse. Hmm? Coarse, like rough. I'd ra so you don't want to be rough, Rodrigo? Is that what you're saying? You'd rather be caring? I think caring is nice. I think it's a good thing. I think if, uh, you know, if you're a nice person, then people will come to your funeral. So that's a good thing. Uh, number two could be a good judge of how, how nice you were in life, right? Uh, number two, let's talk about this one. A little more serious, a uh, little more practical, everyday topic. Uh, so here, tell me about uh, in the past. It was understood by my parents and I that I would go to university after high school. Do you agree with that? So for example, when I was younger, my parents said, Kent, you have to go to, you have to, go to university. We don't care what you study, but you have to go to university. They really wanted me to go to university. So I went. So we both understood. I understood. My parents understood that I would go to university and study some stuff. And I did. And I studied some stuff. And eventually, I studied some stuff which I really interested in, which was teaching. And eventually, so, so they did a good job. They got me there. So what about you? Uh, did you have an expectation that you had to go to university? Because honestly, these days, I think university is not, it's not everything, right? But in some, I know in some countries it is everything. But for, for me, I think, you know what? In Canada, we can, you can basically, you, you don't have to go to university. And you can still get a really good job. My friends dropped out of high school because I'm from the countryside and that happens. And they got really good jobs. And he makes way more money than me. And I went to university, paid all this extra money. So why? So I don't know about your country, but in Canada, it's not really a requirement. You don't have to do it. Let's see what he got. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Rodrigo's saying gross. He must be drinking a bad beer or something. Uh, what else we got here? Agree. Uh, Batter says they wanted me to be a pilot. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Batter? Are you a dangerous man to be in a plane with, or, or are you pretty pretty uh, detailed person, detailed people I can, I can go on a plane with, but renegades and rebels, no way, man. I wouldn't get in a plane with me. Uh, Maya, it was a long time ago, but yes, I was. Hmm? I was, or it was understood, or something like that. I agree again, okay. I did, and then, what? Only human. I did, and there where I lost my way and motivation. Oh, so you lost your motivation in university? Hmm, that sucks. Yeah, because, you know, I think people should go to university when they're like 30 years old. They would probably understand what they want to do a lot better. Uh, to what eat? Uh, definitely, they, have high, they had, maybe had high expectations. And that was so bad because it'll eventually be a kind of pressure on you. You have to do better, even though university is tough sometimes. Hmm, okay. 
Uh, no, it wasn't my passion. I agree, but it was both my choice and an obligation. Okay, so you got a little bit of both. I already went and still being a bogan. Classic. Hello, Nada. How are you doing? Get in here. We're, we're chatting. We're chatting about university. And now we're going to change the topic. We're going to chat about something else. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this one's a good one. I like this one. So how about this? This is a little bit, uh, this is about your parents. So one of, one of them, uh, it says here, my mother or father, it doesn't matter, you choose. My mother or father is said to have been a bit of a rebel in his, or oh, sorry, or her childhood. Uh, let's look at a rebel, shall we? What's a rebel? Let's see what a rebel looks like. <coughs> I'm sure we're going to get... So see that guy? You know that guy? So hold on. We need a better photo. See that dude? He's a rebel. He's a bit of a rebel there. That guy there. What else? Who else we got? Check out this girl. This girl? Totally rebel. Totally a rebel. So I think my dad was a bit of a rebel. You know, a troublemaker. Didn't follow the rules. A rebel when he was younger. Because when I worked for a friend of his, I always heard these stories about my dad. And I, I thought, my dad had a bit of a secret life that my mom doesn't know about. And he was probably a pretty cool dude when he was younger. So that's the question here. My father or mother is said to have been a bit of a rebel in their, his or her childhood. Yeah? Do you agree with that? Uh, college sucks. That's how you say it, Rodrigo. No, no ass sucks, but just college sucks. Uh, Gertie, I agree, because when I decided to be a doctor, I couldn't lose time. Medicine is a long career. Okay, that's true. Um, what else we got here? Only human father. Okay, Gina, if self-learning fits you, fits you, eh, I don't think you have to enter a college. Okay, I agree. If you can, if you can do it that way. Uh, we were understood. No, not we were understood. It was understood that I would find a good job, and I'm still looking for it. Rebellion. Uh, a bit, no way, I was a heap of. I disagree. Follows his own way. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, some people are still in the last one. Zuhair, uh, I was understood that to improve my future and my life, my standard of living. No, my life level, but my standard of living. Sheen, you guys are amazing. Well, thanks, man. Thanks, back at you. All right, so there we go. Number three, we're on number three. What do you think? Was one of your parents a bit of a rebel? in their childhood. Did they get into trouble maybe like that person? Or let's see, James Dean. Where is James Dean? We need a good picture. This is the man who's the rebel. He's the image. That guy. There we go. This guy. Look at that one. So was that your mom or your dad back in the day? Were they a little bit, little bit of a rebel, troublemaker, a little bit rebellious? Uh, what else we got here? Disagree. It's not about them. At least I don't know anything like that. Okay, so it's not, it's not, it wasn't their style or something like that. Uh, only human. But they keep telling us that they were perfect, perfect angels and saints. Yeah, your parents do say that. Like, I only followed the rules. No, I never did anything bad. And that's probably a lie. Uh, maybe your parents were, had a little bit of trouble inside. They had a little bit of a rebellious streak. Okay, let's move on to another one here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sergey's going on. I disagree because I saw their childhood photos <laughs> that were too boring. Fair enough. So mom and dad didn't have really awesome lives. They were just kind of normal people. All right, next one. Great topic. Rodrigo, you feel free to jump in on this one, buddy. Uh, number four. It is alleged. What is alleged? Uh, alleged is like people say. It just means say. So it is alleged. It is said that I may have some bad habits. Hmm. Me? Bad habits? Ha! Come on. Only good habits. I might have a few. How about yourself? Let's, let's change the topic away from me and put it back on you. Do you have any bad habits? And did people say that you might have some bad habits? And if you do, what are they? Give us a share. Share with us what could be your bad habits. Hmm, sometimes, yeah, there we go, be honest, let it out, let it out. This is also a sharing channel where we tell other people about some bad behaviors. Vlade, what's up, how you doing? Get in here, we're talking about bad habits. Completely agree, smoking, okay, my I'm a smoker, eh? Hmm. I gave up smoking when I was 22, but I started when I was 14. Not good. 
But at least I stopped. I gave it up at 22 because I would run up the stairs, and then at the top, I started breathing like an old man, and I thought that was pretty disgusting. So I quit. I quit smoking because of that. We, we do all have bad habits. Yeah. Uh, Lolly's a beer drinker. Could be a bad habit, right? Uh, what else we got? I sleep a lot. Is that a bad habit? Sleep is good for you, Omar. I could use more sleep every day. Calvin Mavy. Rodrigo, only one, a cold and a blonde one. Well, there you go. Everybody, oh, Only one, man. That's not bad. I thought you'd have more, Rodrigo. You'd disappoint me. I thought you'd have like 10 bad habits. You only got one. Uh, nose picking. Ooh, nail biter. Gross. Oh, good. You're lying. You're joking about that. It's kind of gross. Uh, you're a hero, Ken. Uh, I'm not sh I don't think I am, but thank you. Thank you very much, Maya. Gina, I have a bad habit. Lots of exclamation points. I cut someone off when they talk to me. <gasps> Gina, no. So you basically, you interrupt them when someone's talking to you. That is a bad habit, Gina. You need to stop that. You need to listen more. I think people, people who listen more, it's better. I like to talk, don't get me wrong. But I also, I'm also pretty good at listening sometimes. People need to listen as well. Omar, I used to be envious, okay? So kind of jealous of other people. Kelvin gets into fights, okay? That's pretty rough, dude. You should probably stop that, depend especially depending on your age. Uh, only human scandal channel, what? I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, laughing at some serious situation, nail biter, Mm, yeah, probably don't laugh. Some people might get offended if you laugh at some serious situations. Like accidents, don't laugh. Um, you never know who could be around. I guess that's the rule here. Uh, what else we got? Maybe wasting time. I don't fix anything my parents want to. I'm a very groggy one. Groggy is sleepy, Noir. So be careful with groggy. Uh, everything must be symmetrical. Oh my goodness. So everything must be like perfectly aligned. Oh my goodness. Rodrigo, sometimes I race on the streets for fun, no cash, everything is for fun. Could be dangerous, Rodrigo. I might make sure that there's no, just do that in the countryside when there's no people. Workaholic, okay, there we go. So we all got some bad habits, fair enough. Let's try another one here. What else we got here? Ah, let's try this one, number five. I watch a lot of TV, yeah, that could be good. Sometimes too much TV is not good. Uh, how about this one? This is, this is very specific. I don't know if you fall into this category, but it has been mentioned. And again, what does mentioned mean? Mentioned means said. So it has been mentioned in the past that I should talk less and listen more. Hmm. Has anyone said this to me? Probably not, which is a bad thing. Somebody should have said this to me because maybe sometimes I talk too much. Or maybe not, I don't know. Sometimes you don't know yourself. You need another person to tell you. What about you? Do you talk a lot? And somebody told you, you know what? It has been mentioned that maybe you should talk less and listen more. Agree? Mm-hmm. I agree. I tend to keep things. Oh, okay, so bad habit, keeping things. Uh, somebody who keeps things, we call them um, a pack rat in English. Uh, or a hoarder in English. That's another thing we use. Uh, for that. If you keep a lot of things in your house, we call you a hoarder or a pack rat. I don't know, just somebody who keeps a lot of things in their house. Uh, what else we got here? So again, how about you? Uh, agree. Kelvin says, I agree, because when you listen more, you will learn more. Totally agree. That's logic. That makes good sense. That's good advice. Nail biter. That's why we've got, we, we have got. You have to say, we have got two ears and one mouth, so we should talk less and listen more. Makes sense, yeah, good advice and logical. Two ears, more listening, less talking, two to one. What else we got? Uh, better, we have, we have a saying, S-A-Y-I-N-G, uh, we have a saying in Arabic, big A, about that. I've, nev I've, mean, I've been hearing it a lot when I was a kid. I heard it a lot when I was a kid, but I wasn't convinced or maybe that depends on the situation. Check your spelling, they're better. Um, what is this? Okay, so what's translate? So if you can translate the saying better, that would be interesting. I like to hear translations from other languages, it's kind of cool. Um, to what I, I am totally the opposite. People always ask me to speak up. Okay, so you're a little bit quiet and you need to speak up a little bit more. Tatiana, not a lot, just some. Okay, mm -hmm. not in English. 
Nina, I agree when you learn how to listen first, you will get smarter and wiser, hence you will make the right decisions in your life. Hmm, I agree. It's better to listen, isn't it? Uh, okay, very nice, cool. Uh, Vlad's got one, it has been mentioned. Can I say it was mentioned? Yeah, you could, uh, depends on the situation. It has been mentioned, could be too, it could be your life until now has been mentioned, or it could be only in the past it was mentioned, kind of both could be possible. All right, let's do one more, one or two more here. Mm. Mm. Oh, this one, number seven for sure. Number seven, this one's good. <laughs> and I laugh, I laugh at this one. Uh, number seven, I was considered a good kid when I was younger. You agree? You agree with that? Unfortunately, I cannot agree. Um, I don't think I was a good kid when I was younger. Didn't really listen. Bit of a monkey, hmm? Um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I must agree with this one. I was not a good kid when I was younger. I would make a lot of jokes in class, not pay attention. Still don't really pay attention sometimes. Still a bad kid. So what do you think? Tell me about you. Were you a good kid when you were younger? If you were, good for you. Well done. Mom and dad did a good job. Um, but no, bad to the moan. Yep. Totally bad, Rodrigo. Bad to the bone means like just really bad inside. A rotten egg is another thing you could say. Uh, oh, there's so many things you could say. You could say a spoiled brat. You could say a rotten egg. All of those are good. Yeah. Anything who is anything that says you were bad when you were young. A bad seed. You could call someone a bad seed as well. Uh, okay, the truth is coming out here. Everyone's talking about this. Abdullaya, uh, there's a saying, if speech is silver, the S. Okay. Uh, Nina, I don't agree, I was a troublemaker. I, st I don't agree, I was a troublemaker. I still feel sorry for my parents. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so you don't agree, you didn't cause trouble, but you feel sorry for your parents. Maybe you were a troublemaker. It's possible, Nina. Uh, Wesley, I wasn't. I was, oh, okay, I was a terrible boy. I agree. Oh, so a bunch of bunch of rotten eggs here. Um, I definitely. Oh, better is a good one. I definitely was the sweetest kid and good in school. But now I'm a rebel. Never too late to to turn to the dark side. A little Star Wars quote: "Dark side." This one's kind of funny. Turn to the dark side has cookies. I like this one. It's kind of funny. It's an expression I've seen. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. Nice, Vader. All right, cool, very good. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Noir Noir, I was considered good, but discovered that not always good people succeed in their lives, right? If you have life, what's well, one, but if you have lives, you have people, connection. Good, yeah, I agree with that. Gina, I was a spoiled kid, so my mom put down coins under my bed so I cleaned under my bed to collect the money. Smart mom, nice move. Lolly disagrees, I was a rebel and a disobedient kid. Well, join the club, Lolly, join the club. You still haven't answered, what's your real name? I don't think you've done that. I feel like you're hiding, avoiding this question. Uh, Sheen or Shine, I don't, sorry, I don't know how to say your name. I was considered a good sweet boy because I used, with a D, to help my grandfather grandfather one word nice good for you that's a good thing Gertie I agree because all of my life I have been in balance my twin brother has been a troublemaker all the time okay so you were the good one and then the balance was with the bad one and then you had a equal opportunity there okay cool let's go and let's see one more last one I think we're gonna do here and then we'll move into how to do this stuff Mm, let's see. The last one I like to do. Hmm. It has been so good if I do. Hmm. Ah. Okay, last one. <coughs> Alright, last one, number nine. Here we go. Uh, number nine, my vacation last year. Did you take a vacation last year? If you didn't, you should take a vacation. My, but my vacation last year was intended to give me a break from all my hard work. 
<sighs> I'm sad because I didn't take a vacation last year, and I really need a vacation. I need to see a new country, travel somewhere, maybe one of your countries. That could be amazing. My vacation last year was intended. And what is intended? Intended means planned. So my vacation last year was intended to give me a break, give me a vacation from all my hard work. So do you agree with number nine? Yeah, exactly. It hurts when you don't get a vacation. It's, oh, you just need, you know, you need a break. You need a mental break. Hmm. I'm really thinking about vacation right now. Not at all. Okay. What else? What else do you guys think? Did anyone not, so who else didn't take a vacation last year? I think everybody needs their breaks. It's a mental break that you need to kind of reset, reset your brain. So when you go back to work, you're kind of like, okay, now I'm ready to go back. I've had a good break, kind of forgot a few things the best way, and then you come back, you're ready to go. Uh, nine, I agree. I'm a, I'm a hard worker. Mm, okay, well, it's not about working hard. It's about the vacation you took was the plan to take a break from, from your hard work. No, no vacation. Still waiting for that. Oh, yeah. I hear you guys. Let it out. Tell me. Let's look at some vacation places where we could go. Beautiful vacation destinations. Let's see. What do we got? Let's take a, let's dream together about some amazing, oh, look at that. Oh, could go there. I'd like to go there. I'd like to be in this one right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that would be the spot. That looks great. This looks like like a Thailand. Oh, it is Thailand. Oh, have you guys ever been to Thailand? See, look, it's the Thai flag. Oh my God, it's amazing. These cliffs, I think I've actually been to this place. It's uh, maybe in Ao Nung province. It's uh, beautiful cliffs. I really think I've been there before. If it's in Ao Nung, it's totally been there. Koh Tao Beach, where's Koh Tao? Hotel Thailand. Let's take a look at that. Sorry, I'm taking a little, I'm taking a little trip down memory lane here. Oh no, I haven't been there. Okay, it's a different place. Ooh, but it looks, it looks good though, right? Ooh. Oh man. Need a vacation. I think that's the lesson. Your homework is to take a vacation. All of you run away to some tropical place. Maybe this place. Look at that. Ooh. Oof, that looks so pretty. There's so many places. Look at that. That's pretty nice, too. The Caribbean. Oh, man. That's kind of funky. There we go. Vacation. We need them. All right. Let's see what you guys said. Um, no vacation. Denise, my last vacation was intended to give me a break from all my hard work. Unfortunately, I didn't have time. That sucks. Noir Noir, I didn't have any holiday. I intend to have one this summer. Good for you, Noir. Take a vacation. Take a long vacation. Tuatit definitely agreed. It was my first vacation outside my country. Best experience ever. Tuatit, where did you go? That sounds, that's, I'm very happy you had your best experience ever. Where did you go? Agree, agree, agree. Good, good. I want to go to Nicaragua Falls and skydive. Ooh, that could be fun. Have you ever gone skydiving? It's amazing. It doesn't matter how much it costs, you should go skydiving. It's, there's nothing similar to that in the world. Uh, what else we got here? Go to Rio. Yeah, Rio's great. Rio's a great beach. Uh, I disagree because I'm ev I, I even work. Oh, I even work and live by the beach, which I love, comma, which I love. Lucky me. You are very lucky. Uh, I'd like to live by a beach as well. An old proverb says, as travel is to live. Maybe all travel is to live, but I hear you. Uh, better, if I don't get one soon, I will quit my job. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you have to. And Sergey, uh, I agree. I went snowboarding on, on my last winter vacation. Mm, very nice. Snowboarding is awesome. Good snowboarding in Vancouver. Come check it out in the winter. It's nice. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in. So we learned, we looked at some sentences today. And maybe you saw some sentences where it, was, it wasn't just the normal passive sentence. So today, I'm going to teach you about a few different types of passive sentences. So I think you know, hopefully you know how to use this. We're going to do a quick review and look at some other examples. So question number one is this. So number one is this. Why do we make passive sentences? Now for me, I, I kind of think there's four big ideas why we make passive sentences. What do you think they are? And I've kind of given you some of the answers here. So take a look at the sentence. So I've given you, so that's the answer. And here's the example sentence. So here we go. 
So why do we make passive sentences? Look at the examples of active sentences changed to passive sentences. So for example, you could say, this guy here, do you know Alan Turing? Uh, he's the guy they think invented the computer. Alan Turing invented the computer. But then we change to a passive sentence, and it says the computer was, was invented by Alan Turing. So now we have a new sentence. So what's the first reason we make passive sentences? We do this little switch. Elaborate the object. Pretty close, Narayana. Just choose a different word. Not elaborate, but it also starts with an E and is emphasized. Yes, focus on the subject. Focus on the object, also good. Uh, let's see here. Good. Okay. So we want to emphasize, <coughs> emphasize the object of a sentence. So Alan Turing made the computer, and now we go. Whew, the computer was made by Alan Turing. So that's number one. We just wanted to emphasize, so we switch. The subject's not. Oh, well, okay, good. So I think somebody's on the next one. Let's go to number two. What's the second reason <coughs> we use a passive sentence? Oops, did I skip? Uh, no, I didn't skip. I'm doing good. <coughs> Next one. Here's number two. Uh, number two, what's the other reason? Uh, somebody built this house in 1966. Or we can change, and we can say this house was built in 1966. Now, the second sentence sounds better. Why does it sound better? Uh, so the answer is because we da-da-da, the da-da-da of a sentence, so we da-da-da it. That's really confusing, but I hope you get what I'm saying. Uh, number two, to a tweet, because we don't know the subject, so we can drop it. Didn't know. I think you guys got it there. The doer doesn't matter. Yeah, that's pretty much it, right? So yeah, I think the answer you guys got it, because we don't know the subject, so we can delete it or drop it or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So somebody built this house. If I if I if you come to on a tour in Canada and I'm the tour guide and I say, guys, guys, somebody built this house in 1966, you would say, Wow, Kent, you're the you're the worst tour guide ever I've ever met. So I don't say somebody, I just get rid of somebody and I just put the house first. So that's number two. Number three, let's try another one. Now take a look at number three. Because everybody, something, something, the something of a sentence, so we can something, something, it. Similar, but a little bit different. It's kind of the opposite reason, but it has the same result. So for example, the police arrested the man. The man was arrested. So what happened here? So Tuatit, I think, has got it. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Correct. You guys are all rocking it. Uh, yeah, that's it, right? So because everybody knows the subject, we can delete it. Everybody knows the police arrest people. Everybody knows the ambulance takes people to the hospital most of the time. So in that situation, we have the police arrested the men, but everybody knows the police, so let's get rid of the police, and we'll just say the man was arrested, done. Okay, and then we're good there. And the last one is similar. Um, so take a look at this example. This example might help you with it. Uh, and I forgot to add this, so similar. Let's add that in there. So yeah, so number four, what's the last one? Yeah, I think we got it already. Yep, yep. Correct. OK, I think you guys got it, right? So number four, if you look at it, we say Catherine Hettinger invented fidgets. Do you know what fidgets are? These are fidgets. This is a fidget. No, that's not a fidget. That's not a fidget. Where are they? This one. This is a fidget. That's a fidget. Fidget is like when you move a little bit and move a little bit and move a little bit. So these are fidgets or spinners, right? Now, I don't think those things are really useful. And so when I make my sentence, I say, Catherine, you know, Catherine Hettinger invented fidgets. Maybe the subject is not important. I don't care about Catherine Hettinger. I'm sorry, Catherine Hettinger, but I don't really care that you created the fidgets. I only want to talk about the fidgets. So I take Catherine Hettinger and I throw her away. 
and I only talk about the fidgets. So I say fidgets were invented in 1993, and Catherine is totally gone. So I think it's usually those four reasons that we're going to use a passive sentence. And actually, another one, num number five, is we often use it in newspapers when we want to sound more formal. Uh, I like to read The Guardian. I don't know what you guys read. I think this one's a good one because it's, uh, it's uh, by donation that they keep. So sometimes you'll read, uh, sometimes you'll read something here, and uh, you'll get a formal sentence. So sometimes passive sentences, they sound a little bit more formal. So you might see them in a newspaper as well. OK, so that's that. Link, please. Yeah, OK, hold on. Give me, a, give me a second here. Give you the link. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Whew. Next one. Uh, look at this one here. So look at the following passive sentences. Headlines, yes. Look at the following passive sentences. Here's number one. It is believed that there is no bad flavor of ice cream. And number two, it is said that Kent never met a beer he didn't like. Now, you got those two sentences. And now the, the real question is, um, why, do, why do we usually use this kind of passive? And I think we answered it already. Why do we usually use this, pants, this, this form? So if I say, it is believed, it is said, it is thought, it is considered, why do we use that it, 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 it? Uh, so here's the answer here. Uh, it's hedging? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe music top, it could be. So why would we say it is believed, it is thought, it is felt? Who felt? Who thought? Who believed? It makes the sentence more formal. Mm, yeah, a little bit. What else? Focusing on the object. OK, but what about this one? Look at those two. If I look at these ones, right? it is believed that there is no bad flavor of ice cream. Why do we use it? That's really what I want to know. Why do we use it and it and it in these sentences? For superstitions, could be. Um, because we don't really know the, it's not thought, the talker. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a grammar pattern. We don't know the teller. Mm. Maybe this is not the best explanation, but I wanted to say we don't really know the true. Hmm. I wanted to say we don't really know the truth. That was that's what I was thinking. Like it is believed by many people that there is no bad flavor of ice cream. So for me, yeah, of course we're we're switching, we're doing the passives as well. But sometimes we use it and it's almost like it's almost like a fake subject. So so let's take a oh sorry, I gave you the answer. So take a look at this one here. Is it a real or a fake subject in this sentence? <clears throat> you know what I mean? I'll, I'll try to explain it as well. So if I say, it was believed in the past that the world was flat, what's the normal sentence? People believed the world was flat. That's the normal sentence, right? So if we change it to a passive sentence, so normally we need a subject and an object when we make passives. But if we say, people believed the world was flat, it's kind of but we don't we don't put the world at the beginning we don't so it's not it's not really a passive so we just kind of take it and we make a fake subject and then we can make a sentence we can say it is believed by many people that the world is flat so really it is the idea that it here it is actually the world was flat does that make sense so it is kind of a fake subject that just repeats the other parts does that make sense it's a little confusing but anyways if you don't have a normal sentence, an active sentence with a subject and an object, uh, you can still make a passive sentence by using it. It is believed. It is felt. It is, it is said. OK? So there we go. So now it's your turn, your turn to make a passive sentence. So here are some active sentences. And I would like you to change them into passive sentences. So the first one should be easy. Hello from Thailand. How are you? 
Uh, and the second one should be, well, we'll see if you can do it. All right, so here we go. So you got two sentences. Can you please change both of those? Many people consider me to be kind. And number two, my parents and I understand that I need to be responsible. So you have to change both of them uh, into passive sentences. Okay, so go ahead, show me what you got. Change both of them. First one should be easy. Second one, hopefully, now you know how to do it. I am considered to be kind. I am considered to be kind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. So you used the second one for the first one. So I thought many people, many people consider me. So I was going to switch those two. But you said uh, batter. It is no, sorry, Narayana. It is believed that I'm a kind person. Ah, so you changed the sentence better. You changed the sentence a little bit. Uh, yeah, so actually, in Narayana, you as well, and Vlad, you as well, you've changed the meaning of the sentence. So here's what we, so I think some of you got it right. Uh, so number one was this. Now, look at this. Let me, let me teach you something. Here we got people. And here we got me. So because we have people and me, we can make a normal passive sentence because we have a subject and an object. If you don't have an object, you can't make you normally can't make a passive sentence. So what we would say is I am considered uh, by many people to be kind. So now we're good, right? I followed the rules, I kept many people, and I kept me and I changed it to I. Okay, and now sentence number two, we can use the other way. Now look at sentence number two. We have my parents and I, that's your subject, but you can see, uh-oh, I have a that. I don't have an object, and that's another subject. So in this second sentence, I don't have an object. So I cannot do the same style, and that is why I need to use it. So now I can still, so even if you don't have a subject and an object, you can still make a passive sentence. So now I would say, it is understood. I keep the same verb, that. And again, you could say, it is understood by my, so I'll keep that, I'll keep that by my parents and I, that. I need to be responsible. Okay, so you can see this one. Uh, we we have the subject still. Oh, sorry, I should change that. So here, so number one, we have a subject and an object, but number two, we only have a subject. So I can still make a passive sentence, but I have to use it, uh, and then it's possible. Okay, so my parents and I, I kept that. Okay, so normally you can't make a passive sentence if you don't have a subject and an object, but now you can because you can also use it. It is understood, it is believed. All good? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So there's two kinds of passives that you can do, the traditional one and then there's also this one. Uh, and we use this for beliefs and this, these kinds of things. Hello, Said, Said, Said. Uh, okay, so there we go. Uh, Narayana, you have taught to be in the infinitive class. Do we use passives as well as infinitives? Oh, you have taught to be in the to be in the infinitive class. Yes. Do we use passives as well as infinitives? And sorry, Narayana, can you ask your question one more time? I'm not sure what you want to know, but I'm happy to answer it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So here's what we're going to do today. Now I'm going to show you some photos. And I would like you guys to make a sentence. So look at the photos and make a sentence, make passive sentences to describe them. Okay, so let's see how well you can do. So let's see. This one was good. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Mm-hmm. Well, that one's pretty funny. All right, let's start with that one. All right, so now you have to make a sentence, and you have to use a passive sentence about our friend here, Darth Vader. Uh, I do. Let me give me a sec here. Do I have it? No. Nope. Give me a second, Saeed. I will share that document with you. So I would like you to make a sentence about Darth Vader. So I'll start. It is believed. <laughs> I like my car on the dark side. That's awesome. It is believed that Darth Vader prefers a mocha mochaccino. I don't know how to spell mochaccino with extra cream in the mornings. All right, so there we go. So we're making a guess about some people and what they do. Now, you can use a normal uh, passive sentence, or you can use the one that I used. It is believed. It is said. It is thought. Now, can I make a normal one? Hmm. How can I make a normal sentence about Darth Vader? Hmm, that's a great one. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, let's see. And while I'm doing that, I will share with you, Saeed, this document. So here we go. So if you can make a sentence about that, do your best. Uh, let's see here. So, oh, dark side has cookies. Um, hmm, what else could I say about Darth Vader? Uh, Narayana, whether to be is a passive form or an infinitive form. So if you say to be, that's basically infinitive. But if you say to be plus past participle, to be given, to be seen, to be thought, that equals a passive sentence. Passive. OK, maybe that was your question. Hopefully, that's the answer there. Uh, Minerva, it is clear that the guy in black is a worker who loves coffee. Yeah, that'll work. It is clear. It is said. It is thought. Uh, that works pretty well. Yeah, very nice. Any others? It's a little bit difficult, right? But do your best. Try to get one or two in. Hmm, let's see what else could we say. He isn't my dad. Probably not. Uh, what else we got here? Shall we do another one? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, who should I search? Famous movie character. Give me a famous movie character, and I'll see if I can search. Star Wars is always a good one. What else can we do? Ah, here we go. Darth Vader's power is considered, ooh, nice one, the most mysterious one in Star Wars. This is not Star Trek. This is Star Trek. Batter, batter banana. This is Star Trek is different from Star Wars. You need to watch more nerdy TV shows. See, that's the Star, that's Star Trek. Star Wars is the other one. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, let's do some Star Trek. Ah, Gina's got one. It is true that his coffee is darker than the others. Yeah, all right, very nice. Hmm. Now, you probably don't know anything about Star Trek, so maybe that's not a good one. Let's see, what are some other TV shows and movies you might know with famous characters? Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have one. Maybe I'll do one of these. All right, so here we got more. So let's start with this one here. Let's do, let's do this big man here. This is a weird photo. But I would like you to talk about this man in the photo right here. Uh, so that's a weird photo. I don't know if that's photoshopped or not. Big Bang Theory, maybe we could do that. Uh, oh, here we go. OK, and again, yeah, feel free. Make your own sentences. Uh, you don't have to do the picture here, but you can do anything you want. Tatiana's got one. Barack Obama is known to be the first African-American president. I don't know the characters you are showing. OK, fair enough. Correct. Perfect sentence. Very nice. Is known to be the first African-American president. Boom. Very nice. Good. Uh, what else we got? Um, hmm. Oh, I don't know how to search that on the internet. So let's see. What can I say about this guy? So I can say, oh, here we go. It is believed that Darth Vader wears red suspenders because he is superstitious. Yeah, that could be true. Um, plastic surgery. 
No, I don't have one. I don't have one for that. It's difficult. See, this is not. It's actually not easy. So I, I hear you. Uh, better Iron Man's sacrifice in Avengers End Games is believed to be the most emotional scene in all history. I doubt. That. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta disagree with you, Batter. It was good, but I don't think it was the most emotional scene. It's a superhero movie. It's not a true story. True stories are definitely more emotional. Those muscles were understood as being from steroids. Those muscles were understood as being from steroids. Yeah, that would work. Uh, Noir, it is thought that this guy is so strong. It is thought. It is believed. It is. Be oh yeah, that's easier. It is believed that none of. It is assumed. Let me give you a new word. That none of his muscles are natural. Were natural. Are natural. Yeah, this guy overdosed possibly. It is assumed that none of his muscles are natural. Uh, it is believed that I'm going to settle in Seoul. Who believes that? Only human. Is it you or is it other people? Um, let's see. Let's let's take a look at mysteries around the world. Maybe we can do a few more. Mystery. Let's see if. Do you know any mysteries around the world? Hmm. The pyramids. Yeah. You really need specific information. Usually we use passive sentences to talk about like mysterious histories from different countries or superstitions, like this one. Do you know this one? Let's take a look at this. Uh, you could definitely make one about this Loch Ness monster. Have you heard this one? This one used to be very popular. So this is in, this was in Scotland. There was a theory that there was a monster. So for example, yeah, exactly. Uh, it was believed, maybe it is believed. I thought it was, I thought it was, I was reading something it said they cured it. It was believed that there was a monster in, was it Loch Ness, Loch Ness Lake? Or Loch is Lake in Loch Ness. Boom. Hmm. Kent and Julie are said to be good and smart teachers. Yay! Good. I hope so. I certainly hope so. I'm sure Julia's good. I'm sure she's all right. Uh, the Bambina Triangles. Yeah, there was another one. Let's take a look at that one. What is the, uh, the superstition about this one? The Bermuda Triangle. <coughs> does anyone does anyone know the the answer to that? I thought it was magnetic disturbances. Do you know what I'm talking about? So here we go. We got the Bermuda Triangle. I think they found the solution to this, didn't they? It was actually some kind of magnetism in the air. Maybe somebody knows the answer. Somebody Google this. Maybe we can find the answers as well. Uh, oh, Gina's got a good one. Uh, it is known, is it? Is it known that Area 51 had a lot of aliens and Americans, Americans used their technologies one by one? Is it known, Gina, or is it? <laughs> it is um, how it, not known. I think that's not. It's not sure. It is thought. It is believed, or it is believed by some, or it is thought by some that Area 51 had a lot of aliens. No, 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 no. Vlad, it is believed that the pyramids were built by aliens. Is it? I don't believe that. Uh, again, it is believed by some. Uh, Maya, Loch Ness Monster was, the Loch Ness Monster was believed to exist. Yes, they did do that. Everything a Scottish person tells us is real. Probably not. And Gertie, I, it was believed that people couldn't, maybe couldn't fly over the Bermudas. Couldn't, I think it was. Let's see, Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle. The secret of the Bermuda Triangle. Let's see what it is. I feel like this has been solved. So what does it say? Here, it says it's been solved. This one says, so there's a video here. I can't watch this video, but you could definitely watch this video. So if you want, I'll give you the link. And maybe you can watch a video and you can find out. There it is. There's a YouTube video. You tell us how the Bermuda Triangle thing was solved, if it's been solved. And uh, there we go. So anyways, I think that was about it. It was dangerous for ships. Yeah, it was believed. 
it, it is believed or it was believed. I don't remember. It's probably still true if it was true before. Anyways, so there we go. Um, we did a little review on the passives, and I think I gave you hopefully one more way to make passives and make passives when you cannot make passives, right? By just using it, you can take almost any sentence and you can make it into a passive sentence. There we go. Okay, so I think that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Uh, two ways to make passives. There you go. There's another one. Ba boom. Uh, all up for. We're all done for today. We'll see you tomorrow. And again, as usual, if you have any requests, please let me know if there's any topics you'd like me to look at. I went on a little IELTS tangent for a while. I might go back. We could probably do some more on that or a little bit on writing. Uh, now you're on a quick question here. And shall we use passives for speaking? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, again, if you follow these rules, these one, two, three, four, and then obviously speaking more formally sometimes, we do use passives a lot. Um, but the more you study English, the more you read books, the more you naturally learn English, the more you'll learn those rules. Um, Saeed says, how can I learn online courses? I don't know, buddy. You're gonna, you'll have to search that one on your own. I don't, I don't know what kind of online course you're looking for. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Uh, not on this YouTube. Yep, same thing, Sayed. Um, unfortunately, this is my this is my area here. I don't really know outside what you want to look at. But anyways, that's it for me today. I'll see you, lovely people. I'll hear, <laughs> read you, lovely people tomorrow. Have an amazing day. See you tomorrow. Same smart time, same smart place. 2 p.m. See you tomorrow, everybody.